All right, this is a Petra's run cheese. Basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be skipping Shurochi and Kali and anything between there, all right? So, what we're going to be doing, just come into the last wish, just like normal. Come up to the wish wall. And basically, we're just going to be teleporting to Morgoth. So basically, pretty simple, just put in the wish to teleport you to Morgoth. Okay, so as you can see, put in the Morgoth wish. And step on the plate. And we get teleported to Morgoth. Your whole team will die, but since we haven't put in the Petra's run wish, it won't matter, right? So you'll spawn at Morgoth, just like normal. Ball will spawn, all that. Basically, you're just at Morgoth now. Now, there's only three of us, so we won't be beating it. You can put down the rally. And as a six man, you will then beat Morgoth, right? You will do the Morgoth encounter. You're more than welcome to die. It won't fail the Petra's run because you haven't put in the Petra's run yet. Now, once you've beat Morgoth, right? Once you've killed Morgoth, you're going to need a Hunter or a Warlock. And this is the path you're going to take to get back to the Wish Wall so that we can put in Petra's run, okay? So you beat Morgoth, your team, they went through. They're up at Vault right now. And your solo Hunter or Warlock is going to Shadow Skate slash Well Skate back over here. Try to aim for this. This part here, as you can see, he died and we're not in orbit. Same for that little rock. Secret chest, right there. Secret chest. Now, we're going to aim for that tree up there, right there. Mountaintop. What you're going to need is a mountaintop and a, just an eager edge sword. You don't even need mountaintop, but it makes it so much simpler. From there, you're going to mountaintop straight up and get on this rock here. So we just mountaintop from there up to here. Now jump up, you get turned back, come down here, and it goes away. Run along this little crystal, I don't know, crystal, crystal ceiling, sort of. Just run along, spam jump, it'll make you go faster. Just run along, see this big roof? It aligns with this stone. Gonna come down this gap, and jump onto this pathway here. Just from up there, onto this pathway. Once you get to this door, just slowly walk forward till you hit a loading zone. You're gonna die, and you're gonna spawn behind these stairs. Once you spawn behind these stairs, this is where you jump down from Shurichi. You're gonna see this tree room. And quite simply, we're gonna do exactly what we just did, but again. Because every time you load into that zone, you're either going to spawn where we just did, which isn't what we want, or you're going to spawn back at Shurochi. Usually it works on the second try. Like 90% of the time you'll spawn here and have to do it again once more. Otherwise, if you do spawn on the Shurochi side, you can wait about another minute and I'll, I'll get there. Just do the same thing. Run up here. Get onto this rock, and we're back over here. Spam jump. You can try an eager edge, but it doesn't do anything when you're up here for some reason. It's weird. Just run along the crystal roof. Same hole, same thing, same loading zone. We're just going to try again. And hopefully, it doesn't kill us. Run back. Walk into the loading zone, and we're on Shirochi side now. Same door, we're just in this loading zone. So, yeah, it usually works on the second try. Sometimes it works on the first try if you're lucky. Now we're just going to head our way back to Kali. As you can see, door to Shirochi over there. That's where we just came out of. And we're just going to go back to Kali. So just keep coming along this bridge. That's the entrance to Kali. Or well, the exit, I should say. There's the exit. Just gonna work our way there. Once we're here at this tree, we're gonna mountain top up. Just come along this cliff somewhere. 
climb up here. There's the tree. We're just up here on this little flat bit. Next to this tree. This tall tree. Now, Hunter or Warlock, doesn't matter. You're going to swap to Blink. Okay? Any subclass with Blink. Warlock, if you want to run the helmet that gives you an improved Blink, go for it. I think it's called Astrocyte Verse. Yeah. Now, this is the most excruciating pain you'll ever be in. There is a death barrier around there. We need to blink past it. We need to blink through the death barrier. Okay? So, we're going to get ourselves close to the edge as possible. We're going to run, and we're going to try and blink through it. And for the next five minutes, I'm probably going to sit here and die. But I'll skip to the attempt where I managed to do it. Okay, yeah, about five minutes later, and I managed to do it. The only tip I can give is try to blink as late as possible. Like, you got to kind of just know where the death barrier is and blink just before you hit the death barrier. Just watch what I did over and over and try and replicate it. That's as, that's as good as it gets, man. It's a hard jump. But once you're done with that, swap back to normal jump. We're going to come over here. We're going to jump on this little corner piece. Going to come around. Follow the edge. Take a leap of faith. And land on this rock right here. So, corner piece. Follow the ledge. Take a leap of faith, and then turn left a little bit. Now once we're here, taking another leap, and above this dirt pile is just an invisible barrier. So don't land on the dirt pile, but come above it. If you do land on the dirt pile, just jump up, and you can get back on this ledge. I'll show you real quick. From the dirt pile, you can just oh, hit your head. That's what you can do. Not the fire team invite. Jump up. And on the ledge. Then from here, we're going to come up. We're going to jump in this water. And we're just going to walk along the crystals. Now once we're here, we're going to walk into this load zone. We're in the load zone of Kali now. We're going to walk back. And we're going to come back to that dirt that we were just at. See? Same dirt pile, but now it's a lot bigger. Once we're here, we're going to turn left. And we just want to get on top of this rock here. So mountaintop, anything you feel like doing, just manage to get up here. You can climb onto... Where is it? That little bit there. And jump up if you really want. Once you're up here, just going to follow the ledge, follow the rocks. Along here, go into that little corner. Right here. Keep following. Keep going. And we're going to turn right. And we're going to see whatever this is. Looks like four in Roman numerals, but upside down. Or six, I should say. We're going to run in here. Just in this little gap. And then that little corner there, right here, we're going to eat your edge into. Okay. Crouch. And move to the right. You just got to get in this hole here. Crouch, spam eager edge, just get in there, there we go. Now crouch in, jump out, and look where we are. Now come up, jump up here, and we're back at the wishing wall. So now, you put in the Petra's Run wish, and after that obviously don't die. Now you're stuck here, but your teammates that are at vault at the moment are going to start the encounter and it's going to pull you to vault. Now, for your Petra's run, all you have to do is vault, Riven, and Queenswalk. It does count. I just did it half an hour ago with my teammate that's in here now. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. You just skip to Morgoth, finish Morgoth, it doesn't matter if you die, follow the route that I just did, put in the wish, start vault and then f just go from there obviously in vault riven and queenswalk you still can't die but this is as good as it gets in 2024 with the um you can skip from 
Riven, you can do the same thing from Riven, but that includes net switching, because you can no longer get down the vault. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope this helped. This is as good as it gets, from my understanding, in 2024 with the Petra's Run Cheese. So yeah, hope you enjoyed.